Maxwell. Oh yeah. So who? What? What are we going with here? Um. So Charlie is his or Mackenzie. All right. I'll do a quick fly around, I suppose. I don't know. Hey, Lucas, by the way. Sorry. Um, I'm not going to do a mass amount. One pink car in the parking lot. Lovely. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, that's just a bridge. Okay. And so the judging for this will be done, I don't know, sometime, <laughs> given that f contest four hasn't been done yet. All right. I am, I mean, I've noticed, so my EA Play membership, oh, geez. My EA Play, I have EA Play for the PlayStation, um, mainly for Mini Obi to play uh, Sims, but I just, I realized I could get NHL 21 and EA, and um, sorry, UFC 4, and so I did that, and I've noticed that I'm having a really hard time seeing stuff on screens. Um, so this here, the, the, the texturing, I'm having a difficult time seeing the difference between the rough and the fairway. The light rough, at least. Other than that, this looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it might be, Lucas. The crumb, I mean, the thing that scares me the most is I had my eyes lasered 12 years ago. And, yeah, it's only screens that really seem to be the problem. I can see fine everywhere else. Yeah, this looks cool. I like this. The eyes? Yeah, it would be. Uh, just a gigantic pain, and I'm not sure how much it would help. It's just it's things like focus and... Um, like lighting and stuff like that um and then it's but in reading which they, that doesn't do anything for reading but stuff on the screen that i'm trying to read it that that i'm struggling with and that's just that's reading losses i think so i think we call this a centerline hazard don't we oh let me call that a rough ball Yeah, I mean, there, there's that small chance, Sub, that it can happen. I'm um, sorry that happened to your buddy, but... Actually, it was one of the easiest things ever, getting it done. For me, at least. I mean, I was good the next day. Uh, pretty darn low with Lucas. I remember one of the things that when I went in for the consultation. 7% chance you go... 7% chance you go blind? I'm not sure about that. They wouldn't, they wouldn't be allowed to do it. Hang on. No. Not 7%. 0.7% maybe. Yeah, there's there's going to be a disclaimer there for sure. I mean, I remember that. Um, the thing they told me was that... And I, I did it through LASIK MD, so I don't know. Um, 
but they one of the things that they measured was how thick. Um, no, you, no, you said seven. <laughs> yeah, point seven I can handle. Um, but they were like, yeah, you need to. You're. They wouldn't do it unless my corneas were of a certain thickness because they wanted to be able to redo it if something went wrong, right? And uh, they said I, they couldn't have done mine like a hundred times if they wanted to. My corneas were so thick. I don't know. This is looking good, Charlie. Uh, minimal planting, which we would expect from a Switch designer. But it fits. It fits the, uh, the vibe. Yeah, see, one of, yeah, I, 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 the quick Google I did there, it said there was, like, there had been minimal, if, if any, um, reported cases of people going blind from it. So, um, I don't know. And I had it done 12 years ago, and I'm sure it's a lot better now than it was then. Yeah, this green's cool. This whole, the entire way this hole works, I mean, the ability to run it in there, um, The back left pin wouldn't be much fun at all, no. Uh, insurance did not co did not cover bugger all. Um, it depends on like my dad's. My dad worked for Hydro, so he had um, he got his for free. The Bratton bastard. Uh, what is three thousand something like that? But again, that's twelve years ago in the Canadian, so. And it, it depends on a lot of things. It, they, they tell you it's like the, the promotion is it's as low as X amount per eye. But that's basically people who don't really need it at all. In my case, I had horrible vision. Um, I was bad enough that I can't I couldn't see the E on the top of the uh, optometrist. You know how they measure your eyes. I couldn't see that. Um so there was that, and then I had an astigmatism in my left eye. And there's there's a couple things. So mine ended up being more. So it depends. Um, and I don't know how insurance works in the States other than you get screwed. Always. Eh, screen's not harsh. You're hitting a friggin' lob wedge into it. The only thing that made that difficult was, um, being downwind. A lot of people my friend, my parents' age have cataract surgery, and that's basically free LASIK. There's an eight, uh, well... It's a, you're flipping a wedge into it, so. Okay, I thought for a second that might be something bad. It's okay. You can all calm down. This is, yeah, this is, this is, I think this is the best I've seen from you, Charlie. Oh, my tempo's nowhere. You four putted this? Nice. Oh my god. Well, it's a good thing these greens aren't quick. <laughs> Otherwise we'd be screwed. Oh. Seven foot, jeez. Yeah, framing looks good. The trees that you've done look good. The one thing is, is the texturing for for me. I'm struggling with a bit. Now that could just be my monitor setting. It could be the lighting in here. It could just be my own eyesight. Who knows? But other than that, yeah, I'd say this is your best work so far.
Wow. I knew there was wind, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Oh, you bugger. Hey, David. How's it going, buddy? I wouldn't want to play these greens any faster. That's that's for sure. <laughs> it would be a nightmare. It's a good job, Charlie. That's a solid uh, solid kickoff to this perfect... Or this thing, sorry. Um, yeah, I liked it. I liked how you... Um, I liked the, the the environment you created. I liked how, you, again, the minimal planting worked. Um, I liked how you made the course work with the minimal planting. Framing looked really nice. Holes made sense. Good job. We are going to kind of go rapid fire because there are 15 of these things to get through. Wait, hang on. You don't hate that one, Charlie? Jeez, you must really... It must be good. Charlie doesn't hate it. Mm, I'll go for the, the black tees. Why not? Don't put them above. Yeah, 163 would be anything beyond that would be rough. Okay, hang on. Sorry. This is Seb Seb has, has decided to leave who he's um who he's emulating a mystery. You've got a highway? What is this? Tom Cochran? Okay. Oh, out here. <laughs> With their on ramp and off ramp and all that stuff. And then it goes into the tunnel there. Funny. Yeah, a little bit under construction. It's like that road on speed where they're like, oh crap, the road ends. <laughs> oh my god. Ran out of meter to finish the ramp. You ran out of meter on a six hole course? Jeez. This is Mackenzie. Okay. Got a cool look to it. Just smash one right up in front of the green. Don't mind if I do. It's a big green. Is it the bunker sculpting there that's bugging me, or is it the mounding around it? I don't know. I think it's the mounding around it, which may be intentional. This is kind of looking like a bit sand belty Aussie. Hey, Alec. Okay. Oh, nice runoff. Yeah, this lighting works really well. And then just the environment looks cool too. Just, it's, this is well done. It's, it's I'm getting a bit of like that, like I said, a bit Aussie kind of is, is what I'm seeing. I don't know if that's what it's meant to be. Kind of what I'm seeing, though. And then if we're talking Mackenzie, I mean, this this hole reminds me of... Uh, six, Augusta? Six, yeah. Where there's that one shelf, and then it just goes off everywhere around that. Just, that's a toned-down version of it. Yeah, this, this look here is really good. Um, just everything's working together really well here. Oh, 
goodness, look at that for a green. Okay. We want to miss, we want to hit this to the right. Yeah, I, I, I had a look and saw where the green was, or where the pin was, and I thought, mm, yeah, okay. We need to go right. Hmm. Can I get this to run back there? I wonder. Hmm. Not really. Not really. Oh, I, I do like how you've put that slope there, so you can you can put it around this area. Um, this is the, this is the pin that's not so much fun. Too far left, yeah. It's okay, it's par five. Yeah, so you, you, you eliminate that issue with people not being able to putt at that hole by... Allow using the slope to let people put it around the slope so you don't have to chip it. Cool. I'll love the next one. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. The, 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 this. 272 for the part for pin four and you're dealing with oh my god so if i hit three wood i'm going to be down here somewhere uh, leave it short Oh, it didn't quite get there. Just needed a hair more and it maybe runs down a bit. Oh, well. It's a bold green. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't think I want to uh I don't think I wanted to get overly aggressive there. And then we follow it up with a drivable four that's <laughs> That's uphill too, is it? Hmm. Oh there's a touch of leg there. You gotta catch the ridge. Oh, come on. Whatever. It misses the ridge completely? No. Uh, this bunker would be fun to play out of. Yeah, it's a cool drivable four. I mean, there's no... It's, it's not like you look at it and go, Oh, it's like, I'm afraid to go for it. But you can certainly get yourself in trouble here. And then, yeah, the... the Kind of two, three and a halfs in rows is kind of cool. Hmm. Hey, Sai. Well, two threes there worked pretty nicely, I'd say. And then we finish it up with, um, yeah, this. I mean, you can try and hit driver in here if you want. I'm not sure why you would. Don't tell me three iron was too much. 
Wow. Oh, nice swing. Not going to end up too bad. That's the scary part of that. Uh, did I just see a transition that was a bit awkward there? No, maybe not. Hmm. Okay, it's not my favorite hole on the course, but it's not because it's a bad hole. I just think the other ones were really quite good, and this one's a bit of a... I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. It's just, I don't... I think the other holes were just maybe a hair better as well. Hey, Mayday, what's going on, man? Lunch mode. Oh, lunch done. Nice. Nice. Nope. Yeah, that's that. That's all. That's pretty darn good overall. I, I, I just the planting's really good. The lighting and the texturing work really well together. The holes I think play really nicely. Um, the environment's really cool. Yeah, I think that's really good. I think that's really good. Good job, Seb. Jeez, design league's getting getting people are getting really good in design league these days. Are you, any plans on making eighteen out of it? Ninety six percent meters. I guess that's a no. Mac and cheese with brats. It's a very Wisconsin kind of lunch, I would have thought. Yeah, four. You got four more. You got four percent meter, Seb. What's your problem? Get get it. Get her done. Oh, yeah, Pilsner to go with it? Yeah, fair enough. All right, Crossers. So Crossers has gone for Flynn. I couldn't tell you who Flynn is. I couldn't tell you a course he's designed. I have no clue who, about him. That's my... That, 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 that's, that'll explain how much um, golf architecture knowledge I have. Very little. Okay, smaller greens, dramatic cambers, tight routing. Well, I see tight routing, and I see... We'll see what happens after that. It looks like this we're going to scrap and on the green here. It's an octagon. Cool. Well, get reading, Charlie. You're supposed to be a golf architect nerd. At least I've got an excuse. 174. Hey there, Lucy. And a happy Friday to you too, good sir. Well, I think that CG, I think that was kind of the case with everybody, right? The, the point of this contest was that it, it was it was meant to be ground game and not a whole lot of, you know, land manipulation. Hey, Jack. Because a lot of these guys were designing back before they had all of that equipment to move Earth around.
which I think makes them better architects because it's just a more natural course, right? It's there's bulldozers have been helpful in a lot of ways, but they've also created really artificial stadium kinds of courses, which I'm not a massive fan of. Okay, Cherry Hills, Mary. Oh, okay. Well, I know those. Um, I know somebody who's a member at Marion, actually. I. So. Knowing those courses are Flynn courses, it would seem to me that a Flynn, it, it'd be a little more difficult to make a Flynn inspired course that's interesting in a video game. Because it's going to be a pretty Parklandy, you know, solid course. So all the things that make exciting video games are usually the bulldozery crap, right? Your Flynn isn't Parkland? Oh, okay. Collaborate heavily on Marion. Drivable four with some wind into us. And she's gone. I was afraid of that. <laughs> Apparently, greens with draw buffs. You know what, Charlie? I, I mean, Marion, I just remember from the US Open there, what, eight years ago or so. Um,. It's because of the equipment that it kind of got ruined, but I hate how many iron tee shots there are on that course now. Um, I'm not a fan of that overall, but there's not really much they can do about it because they don't have the, the room to expand it, and that's just equipment screwed them. Huh. That didn't work. As you said, he liked some green runoffs, did he? Okay. I mean, I'd say overall everything's pretty solid here. No, it's not, but there's a lot of them, right? There's a lot of iron tee shots out there. Um, which is too bad. Like 18 definitely isn't. 18 is a bear of a par four. Actually, right up there, <laughs> I've got Ben Hogan. Um, hitting his one iron into the 18th at Marion. Mm. Yeah, that could work, um, Brian. The other thing, too, though, is that the course has to want to host it, right? And I don't think people realize how many members of courses like that actually don't want to host courses. Um... Or horse, sorry, host majors like that because they basically lose their course for a year, and so um, I think for a women's open, it's it, it doesn't have the same, I don't know, prestige, I guess, of the men's open, and so courses are likely less willing to give up their course for that long. I didn't say all of them, Charlie. I said a bunch. I said too many. 
I remember lots of iron shots off the tees. That's, that's the thing I remember most. How many times they, hit it, they were hitting iron off the tee. And like a Jim Furyk. Or no, Stricker. Stricker's one that was in contention and shanked it out of bounds. It's just, I mean, it took them forever to get the U.S. Open back there because of the distance, right? They had to figure out a way to play there with the, the distance that they could play it at. Anyways, it was a while ago. I kind of remember that tournament. Um, that's solid crossers. It's, it's really quite good. Um, is it amazing? I don't know. It's good. It's really good. It's fun. I liked most of, most of it about it. Yeah, good job. Firethorn, what's Firethorn saying? Eh, yeah, that could be fun. Uh, where am I going here? Rich. Rich went Maxwell. So Maxwell's known for crazy greens, is, is he? Okay, another guy I don't really know that well. I mean, truth be told, I only really know Stanley Thompson and, and Alistair McKenzie. Any fun Easter eggs here? Was it a design league contest where there was a damn roller coaster? Is that is it was it that contest or was it was that the the champ or the um, challenge circuit one? Ooh. Oh, that's where I am. Okay. Bumps and swales rather than flat tears. Okay. Eh. Okay. So why do we never hear about Maxwell for Augusta? It's always Mackenzie and Jones. Wow. Yeah, that's um not a flat green. Okay. So many restorations. Yeah, that makes sense. So then you kind of have the wide fairways too that Augusta had, which I'm, I'm not saying that was him, but... Again, this is a this is solid rich right here. Good God. Oof. Came on as others were trailing off. Okay. That's again the green is wild. Well, I think the other thing to remember, you guys are talking about restorations, is that the greens got a hell of a lot quicker after these guys built the courses, right? So, 
I'm sure some of them had to be tamed a little bit, otherwise they were unplayable. Uh, good, good club choice there. All over it, except the wrong club. Okay. Yeah, Southern Hills is, I mean, it's 18th green. It's 18th green is really steep. They actually, when they had the US Open there, they had to cut it to a different height, uh, to a different speed than all the rest of the course. Because if they cut it to the same speed, they couldn't play it. I don't mind the style at all. Um, you know, lots of width, and then you have to be a bit more precise with your second shot. And the greens are crazy, but there's, I mean, the where, where you're putting isn't too bad. Because, um, I think it's, it's, there's relatively flat areas to putt to. So it's more of the second shot, making sure you put it in the right part of the green so you can have a putt. Yeah, I could see that being the case, Seb. And then if you get out of position here, have fun. Wow, I have the entirety of the world to head into here. I like. Holy crap. Okay, where was the pin you didn't like, uh, Charlie? Front left. Oh, yeah, that'd be no good. Back left. All right. On the orange slope? Oh, fun. That's, that's rich. Solid rich. Yeah, this, the six green I could see being, a, it's a, maybe a bit much. Um, but overall, I enjoy the feel of it. I, if, if that's Maxwell, I like Maxwell. Huh. <laughs> Oh, Trail Ducker went with Maxwell? God help us. Hey, Skill Man.
Alan, how's it going, buddy? Somebody got bored with the, uh, and decided to make some fun bunker trails. an easy hole. Is the light rough lighter than the fairway? Hmm. This is where trail ducker being colorblind might be a bit tricky. It just doesn't look quite right, but I understand that you're not going to see it the same way I do. Hmm. Trying to blend between the heavy and the fairway? Okay. Yeah, you kind of... I don't know if it worked quite as well as you were hoping to. I don't know. Could be me. Thing with colors is that everyone sees them a little differently, right? Oh, double green. Okay. Um... Any reason to go long here? No. Oof. Oh no, that didn't come out. These greens are slightly toned down for you, Trail Docker. Oh, it's my phone. Uh oh. One th oh, okay. Hang on. One thirty. Are are we like basically saying it's 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 from back in the day and the greens were slow as hell? All right, Lucy Shu, what's going on, man? I guess you just have to stay to the right. Okay. I mean, I get the idea that, and I, I, I've often said like a lot of links courses, the greens are too quick because they, they're quicker than what they should be in real life. But I don't know. 130 is a little bit iffy. Yeah. I wish that bridge wasn't right there. It's right in my view. Um, is there a re... I guess for certain pin, maybe staying up on the left is better. But overall, I think you want to be down the right, and the fairway is going to push you there anyways.
staying up gives you full, well, I had a full wedge there though. Okay, here you definitely want to stay left. I do like the use of, of, of slopes um, to make the fairways difficult rather than just making them super narrow. But it seems to be a max. Uh, yeah, is this Maxwell? Yeah, a Maxwell thing, which I like. Well, this is water here. Okay. Um, so this is the other part of the double green. Yeah, that's a hell of a view going this way. Yeah, this is this is much better than what you've done before, Trail Ducker. Um You've you've taken the designer who's known for his greens being crazy and you've Kept them within reason, I would say. Um, and they play well. Because of that. Yeah, this green's great. Is it for a drivable four? Oh, I slowed it. No, oh, we're going to visit a bunker. Going off where? It's an easy up and down set. What are you talking about? Nothing to see here. Yeah, good job, Trail Docker. I like that. I'm not everybody's going to love the green speed, but. I don't think it's possible for you to create a course that doesn't have one discussion point, and that's that's completely cool. I think that was my favorite of yours so far, though. All right, I don't remember this guy. I remember the name, but I think this is a Flynn one. So tight routing, camber, blah de blah, right? Wow, that's a hell of a swing plane, and then, yeah, wrong club. Other than that, beauty. Uh, 
um, behind the green, I just, I don't know. It, it's rough, and I mean, there's nothing there, which my, part, bleh, part of that might be because it's a six-hole course, but I don't know. It's not really a runoff. It's just a cliff to nothing. Uh, okay. Short par five with a poacher stamp green, I guess. I guess. It's probably more of a preference thing than anything. Step right up, folks. See if you can outdrive the amazing golf ball uh, whacker guy. The first two greens have been about as flat as you can get, so. I don't know if that was a characteristic of his too, but. So here's the narrow and camber, okay. Yeah, I did. I mean, I can't imagine his greens are this meant to be. Th oh God, that that had some phantom break to it. Never mind. Yeah, I just, I didn't like that approach shot at all. <laughs> Couldn't figure out how I wanted to hit that one. I mean, these are, they feel basically pancake flat. I mean, I, I missed the last putt low, but. I think the greens maybe needed a little bit more movement to them. Cause the other thing too is if you're if you're trying to create ground game, it's difficult to do that when you don't have any ground movement, right? There's no land movement. <laughs> oh, poor Platt. Oh, I can't imagine anybody creates a course where the greens are just completely flat. Particularly if you got tons of camber in the fairways. I don't know. I 
I mean, if we're being realistic, there's absolutely no reason you ever go for this green and two because you can't hit it. But, you know how we play. Mm. Let me try that one again. You play well this week, Mayday? I'm a, I'm a kinetic player now. I once was plat. It always looked like a part, didn't it? Well, let's see, Firethorn, I would, I, that's what I would have thought of. If you've got, if your fairways tilt, it would seem to me your greens would too. Like, I, I just struggled with the idea that you would have sloping fairways and flat greens. Oh, boy. Oh, good job, Mayday. Maybe one day I'll be back on Elite to challenge you again, but I don't know. Not looking likely. Um, I mean, that, that was okay. I, I think it might have been a slight misinterpretation of Flynn. Um, I didn't love how it played. It's okay, though. It wasn't bad. It's just the competition is really fierce now. All right, now we're back to Mackenzie. Let's just do that. That'll we'll get him that way. What the hell? Did I add a space? But oh, I must have added a space by accident. Okay, we got him. We got him. Yeah, it is, Tom. It's, um... It's under design contests. Um, yeah. It's under there somewhere. There isn't a, there isn't a separate... There. Thanks, Sub. Alright, Graham. What's Graham done? With Mackenzie. Alright. So he's gone kind of Sam Belty. Yeah, the thing too is, um, oh, that's gonna go in the bunker. Bunker's really quite flat. Um, Maddie, who runs it, is outrageously busy right now, so I'm sure there'll be a sixth contest. It's just a matter of when. Six will be the last. Okay. Ah. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're right, virtual golfer. Um, I mean, the design community as a whole has just gotten crazy with how many there are. And how many good ones there are. Uh, if it's Island Green Beeritzes, I will not be doing playthroughs of it. <laughs> I'll just tell you that right now. Yeah, this is Sand Belt. Okay. Not the easiest one to pull off. Well, and how many did CC have? And it was... It was open to anybody. But, I mean, Rookie... Wow, I've already I've already said what I think about the rookie contest. Good luck getting enough people to judge it, I guess is what I'm going to say. Yeah. It's it's amazing. I've only been here about a year. It's amazing how much it's grown in that year that I've been here. This is cool. I think he's implemented the um the sand belt theme pretty well. Nice, Alan. Oh! I'm, uh... I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I need a break from judging right now. I still need to do the mini golf courses for Victor's contest, and then... When Total Recall gets done, I need to do that. And then, yeah, I need a break. I've been judging too many. Uh, yeah, probably, Alan. And they had a hard time getting enough judges last year, so... Which is how I ended up being a judge, even though I was brand new to the community. Oh, man. I do like sand belt. I'm pretty sure this goes over the back into the bunker. Will I be playing through the courses? Uh, good question, Slightly Saucy. Uh, I don't know. I uh, can't imagine I'll play all of them. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it part and I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. Part of it is going to depend on what the courses are like. If, if it's if you've got sixty designers that count as rookies, now a bunch of those designers really shouldn't be rookies. But let's say 20 of them are actual, genuine rookies. I, I fear for what kinds of courses they're going to come up with. And... I don't know. We'll see. I Yeah, that I will be doing. All the dream courses for sure. And that and see, there's there's the other issue, right? Dream Team is going to be coming out around the similar timing to um, Rookie, and I'm actually part of the Dream Team contest. So you know what? When you're looking at 90 courses, no, sorry, 100 courses, close enough. There's going to be 40 Dream Team courses, and there's going to be 60-odd rookie contests courses. I just, I'm, I'm not going to come, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say that, yeah, I'm going to play all the rookie contest courses, because I, I can't imagine I will. There's too many. And it's not like I'm going to knock out all the Dream Team courses in a week, right? I'll still be playing Dream Team courses in January. I'm going to do something really stupid here. Hmm. Did better than I thought it would.
January 31st? Okay. Um, we will be doing result shows and draft shows and stuff. I just, I, I can't sit here and say, yeah, I'm going to play all the rookie courses. Uh, I think I played all the CC courses and that was a lot. And that's, I was streaming more then. So, yeah, I don't know. Play the ones that matter. I don't know. We'll we'll see. It, it there's it's there's too many there's too many entrants in order for me to be able to play them all. And then where do I cut it off, right? I'm, it's not it's not like I'm not gonna play any. But anyways, that was um that was that was a cool um sand belt that Graham did there. I liked how he incorporated it. Oh, not today, Wes. I'm doing all the design league stuff today. Yeah, I could do that. Because, yeah, the, 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 I mean, the rookie contest, I won't be a part of it at all. So I could just wait. And then when it gets down to the last whatever, I could go there. But, um, falling rock. All right, Skull Man. You got two here. Guess it's top left. Yep, I got it. Alrighty, what are we? We're, we're Mackenzie here. Okay, quick fly. See if we notice anything interesting. Clubhouse is pretty cool. Um, planting looks really nice. The old upside down saucer and then a bit of sand beltishness to it. I'm sure that's a word. Yeah, that's true, virtual golfer. Um I mean, I agree. I agree with what made. Oh, shug. I I agree with what Mayday said about the rookie contest. Is it should be basically your first contest, that kind of jazz. But you know what? It's it's not my decision, so that's fine. Yeah, I like this. This looks really cool. There's something with, I mean, I know it's not straight to fairway, but yeah, not having a fringe or like, or, or, you know, just having going green to that rough looks, I like that. I like the look of it.
Right in an awkward yard is lovely. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Didn't even come close. Yeah, this looks really good. Period. Downwind, downhill. This is gonna be short. Like this, this planting here is really nice. Uh, and then just yeah, the whole picture is really cool. I'm guessing this green is wild if it's such a short par five. Hmm. Kind of. Not really though. Is this supposed to be a par five? Hmm. Feels like the green should be firmer. Yeah, okay. It feels like everything should be firmer, actually. Gotta give some birdies away. Yeah, you're gonna give away some eagles, too. I mean, it's driver 9-iron. Okay, yeah, that's a back pin. I'm gonna do exactly what you shouldn't do to a back pin. Just hammer a sandwich at it. <laughs> Where it's gonna stop. You wanna run it back to that, but... Oh, I hammered it. I crushed it. And I overplayed it. Hmm. That was well played. That was well played. Um, okay. All right. It looked narrow than it played. No, that's eye racing. It's a family game, virtual golfer. Need to be part of XJ's community to fully get that one. I think, the, I think the environment is fantastic here. The golf? Um, it's not bad. It's, I don't think it's to the level of the, uh, to the environment, though. I think the golf maybe could have been a little bit better. Hmm. Fairways are firm. I beg to differ with that. They felt like they played soft. I don't know. That's nitpicky though. It's it's really well done overall. It's really well done overall. Jeez, I'm just thinking back to Design League, the first one, and how much better courses are now. It's wild. Okay, so I need to go with the W Flynn one here.
Uh, I'm not sure about that, Alan, but... People just got good. You had a tea box nightmare? Oh, fun. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm getting... It's getting to a point where, like, every course is good. And... It's taking a lot to make it... It's taking a lot to separate to be, like, great. There's a lot of really good... Which is a good thing, because there's tons of cool courses to play. Okay, we're Mackenzie here. No, we're Fl what, who are, Who's this one? This is Flynn, isn't it? Yeah, this is Flynn. Okay. I think, I think so, Virtual Golfer. I mean, have I helped? I'm sure I haven't hurt. But... I'm not the only one that's been doing this either, like giving feedback and whatnot. There are a ton of really good tutorials out there that people are using, which is clear. You just, it seems to be, I mean, there's still dumpster fires out there. And I think part of it too is getting away from dumpster fires. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, it's it's people are getting good really quick. And that's something that a lot of the, you know, the the got the old guard are saying too is that it's just it's scary how quickly people are getting good in this. At designing. Mm. Maybe to a point, but there's still... It's more subtle things now, I think, that make the difference. And it's, it's, it's almost getting to a point of being... Um, just preference too. Having said that, every contest I've been a part of, it's been clear to me who the winner was. So. Guy, Paul, the plan of those courses not getting approved. Last course looked decent. Oh, yeah. And the other thing, too, is, I mean... Yeah, they do for sure, Lucy. Lucy. Um, this is cool. We also need to kind of keep in mind, like, what are people's goals for their courses? And the other question I would have is, why are people wanting it to be tour-worthy, right? Um... And if they want it to be tour worthy, then there needs there's that understanding of what it takes to create a tour worthy course. And I'm not going to get all old man get off my lawn about it, but from the since the beginning of time, people have wanted to know how to do things, and they've wanted it in five minutes. And the second they find out that it takes time, then they're like, well, no, I know I want to be as good as that person there. Well, how do you think they got good? They didn't turn the computer on and just start designing great courses, right? So a guy like that needs to make the decision of, do you want to just create a bunch of mediocre golf courses? Or do you want to create a couple courses that maybe then become tour worthy if that's what your goal is right and instead of complaining about it then figure out what you need to do to be better this is a neat par four i'm trying to figure out the best way to get in here um
Uh, oh, it's there. Okay, cool. I like that, that ground movement there. That was cool. And see, I would rather, if it were me, Celtic, I would rather my course be on tour than just some silly tour-worthy designation that means jack squat. Yeah, that hole was great. I like that. That was a lot of fun. Um, and being able to try to figure out, okay, how w which slope do I want to use to kick it in there? Because I feel like I could have gone the other way too and maybe had a similar result, but maybe not. And then we go up the hill. Oh, spin. No. Mm, doesn't have to be Terps. There have been courses that were not rated as tour worthy who have um, hosted tour events. Tour worthy is literally, it's literally a guide for schedulers to say, here's a course that you might want to think about using. I think that's one thing people don't realize. Just because your course is tour worthy doesn't mean it will be on tour. And just because it's not tour worthy doesn't mean it won't be. It's more likely it will be if it's tour worthy, but it's not a guarantee. Either way. Was oh, that all of it? Damn, that was fun. Good job, CG. I like that. I think I think that I think that did a really good job of what I understood this contest to be of, of ground game and minimal land manipulation and yeah, that's cool. Good one. Really good. Ah, some somebody has finally chosen to go with my boy Stanley Thompson. Good Canadian designer. Yeah, Maddie and I share um, a definite enjoyment of Stanley Thompson courses. All right. Yeah, I was going to say, this doesn't look like Stanley Thompson to me at all. So, genuine question. Oh, he went south? Okay, that was going to be my question, because I know he's got a ton of courses in Canada. Did he make any outside of Canada? No! The wind's got that too much.
Probably should have chipped that, come to think of it. Aye. Okay, cool. Jamaica, Brazil, Brazil, Colombia. All right, so he did a lot of South American and Caribbean. Okay. Didn't know that. I mean, he's best known for his Canadian courses. Yeah. Yeah. Royal St. George's is uh, definitely a good one. I think the struggle is getting people to buy into me. Enter a contest and judge a contest trade off. Many people want to design but don't want to judge. Uh, I think a lot of it's time though, to be honest, virtual golfer. I mean, people have actual lives, right? So, and judging takes quite a while. So when I don't have mini Obi here, I have time and I'm, I've been willing to spend that time doing this, but, um, but when she's not, I just, and for me, if, if, if I'm doing something that's really meant to be a hobby, which this is, and it's starting to feel like it's work and I'm starting to feel like I have to do something, um, then that's where I need to start thinking about should I still be doing it? Or may, or do I need to take a break at least? And that's where, with the judging, that's where I feel. I feel like I need to take a break. I feel like I, it's it's getting to a point where it got to a point where I was like, oh crap, I, need to, I still need to judge this course and that course and whatever. So. Um. The other thing is you want good judges too, because you want your contest to have a good winner. Frederick, I'm struggling with this one, to be honest with you, because I just, this is nothing like what I would expect from a Stanley Thompson course. So... Oh, I've, I've, got, I've got a kid, Frederick, or Trail Ducker. I'm used to ignoring stuff. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. I'm just more trying to I don't know. I was hoping for a more like Canadian traditional Stanley Thompson, which might be why I'm struggling a bit here. Yeah, I remember you saying that, Celtic. It's it's an it's an interesting idea. The the thing is though that people are inherently are inherently competitive, and so at some point somebody's gonna say, okay, so which one's the best one? <laughs> and um and it's gonna become a competitive, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say you should have skipped it, Frederick. It's just I think you had kind of two thoughts in mind. I mean, it's what you've done is is good. I I like I like what you've created here. This is fun. Um I think the details really good. I think I think the way you've created it, it's really quite good. It's just it's just not it's just not Stanley Thompson, that's all. So it took me four holes to kind of get past that <laughs> to get over it, really.
Like that bridge work there. Wes would, Wes would have an incident if you saw that. It's a cart in the water? Hang on. I gotta see a cart in the water. Oh, there's two. Ah. Uh, see now, here's what happens when you go to one of these all-inclusive resorts. You get hammered, and then you decide, you know what? I'm gonna go play golf. You end up driving your cart right into the damn ocean. Or bay or whatever we've got here. Drive it right in there. Tisk tisk tisk. Oh, Maddie. So as they're getting a, getting a couple more into them, Fred and Nick, they die. Or they, I mean, as they get a couple more into them, their carts get worse. Cause yeah, this this isn't particularly good either. He's beached this one. Check the clubhouse. Ah. Oh. Frederick, are you are you take sticking it to Maddie? He's made a waterfall clubhouse. Simply a tribute to a CC win. Love it. That's cool. So you basically found everything that you think will trigger Maddie and you made a golf course out of it. <laughs> That's cool. You had some help? Oh, I'm sure you did. We can leave it to the community to argue with that. Yeah, you could, Celtic. I don't know. It's it's an idea that has some merit to it. I'd be curious to see how it would work. What would what would happen if, if you did it? And and for that very reason it's worth it's worth trying it. You guys. Is this even your username, Frederick? Oh, hell. Hey, retired teacher. We got jokes in here today. That was your son's. <laughs> okay. I wondered because I saw that and I was like, that doesn't look like his. But everybody has different friggin' um There's so many people who have different names all over the place that I, I'm never I don't always remember which who's who and I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Alright, this is meant to be Mackenzie. I, I assume this one's going to be, like, serious. I love that, too. Oh, you know, I just threw this together in a day. I should have skipped it. <laughs> oh, totally playing like it's serious.
But that's the only... So, but here's the problem. I think that was the only Stanley Thompson entry. So now I don't get that with Stanley Thompson entry. It sucks. All right, Narwhal going McKenzie. Yeah, exactly. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, I'm gonna. I have a thought. I'm gonna wait a hole or two before I give it. Cause I don't know if I, I don't know if I agree with my thought yet. Uh, that's quite the bridge. Um. Okay. Oh, I didn't want that to be slow. Well, maybe I'm okay. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, man. Okay, yeah. So what I was going to say is no longer applicable because there's a lot of planting here. But I think, I don't know, because I thought at first this was meant to be kind of minimalistic, kind of like what Charlie did. But then I'm seeing that canyon there, I'm not sure. That's not far enough left, but is it going to get over? Oh, yeah. All right, skill man. Have a good one, man. Thanks for hanging out. Enjoy your weekend, dude. Oof. That's, that's a terrifying second shot. It's par five, which makes it fine. Holy crap, though. You albied this? Jeez. I'm gonna do well to make birdie. Oh no, it stayed. Okay. It's a very cool view from here. With the all that planting down in this canyon. It makes me wish there was more planting around the place. But maybe not. Maybe it's better that there isn't. One of those ones where I think I'd have to see it. Uh, that's correct, Mr. Willie. I am playing playthroughs of courses that people have created for actually for a specific contest that is run on TGC Tours called Design League. Six whole courses. Um, they had to emulate. They had a choice of, uh, was it four? Four well-known designers they had to try create a course in the style of that designer but that's what i mostly do is i play playthroughs of courses that people have created five yeah okay this is all over it I'm not, I'm, I don't know if this course screams Mackenzie to me, but at the same time, I don't know. Like, I'm not the person to be the one to say that. Still really new to the game. And then not sure what the rest of that means, dude. Sorry. Ooh. So I was, oh, just wondering. Okay. I'm old, so I don't always understand all these short forms for things. <laughs> That's just my own age. Oh, and he's, he's, oh, yeah, okay. Well, what's our rule, guys? It's okay. It's not your fault, I'm old.
Oh no. Oh no. Well, that hasn't worked at all. That drive worked about as well as Steve Bruce's tactics. And you could lay it up over here and just have a night. Yeah, I like this. Well done. Looks mid 40s pushing 70. <laughs> I actually look mid 40s. Well, that's, that's good. That's what I am. I act like I'm about 90 sometimes, though, with my grumpiness. He made another bridge? Like that? Interesting. Bridges everywhere. Entity Kane. <laughs> uh, I don't know, Celtic, because... I thought that um, Emery guy was supposed to be coming over, and then he never did. So I don't know. Until I see him holding the, the shirt and the scarf up, I'm, I'm not going to believe it. I mean, I'm the last person to ask anyways. I'm way the hell over here, right? So. I see the same thing you guys see. Do I want him? Sure. Um, Narwhal, I like that. Those two really well done um, reachable and under regulation holes where the green was just diabolical and it required a hell of a shot to get it on there. But the difficult, like the, the penalty for missing wasn't so much that you would shy away from it, but you'd still get yourself in trouble. Which is good. I like that. Um, yeah, Eddie Howe would be fine, I guess, for now. I, th I think the one thing that, as Newcastle fans, we have to be realistic about is um, we're in the middle of a relegation scrap. There are a lot of top managers who aren't going to want to come into a relegation scrap, even though they know there's money coming down the road. They're going to want to wait to get out of that relegation scrap, and then they're going to be interested. So, what I'm kind of hoping for is somebody who comes in for a couple years. Um, and kind of stabilizes things. And then, when they really get going with the investment, then you bring in your crazy manager. Yeah, and, and it, it's the other thing is they haven't said like what the structure is going to be like is he going to be a manager or is there going to be a director of football like, what is it so wherever these leaks are coming from they need to stop all right firethorn um this is flynn right yeah okay That was a, just an awful shot. Uh, and if you're going to keep having these leaks, you're going to have a hard time getting somebody good in there because they're not going to want to go through the leaks. But they, I, I read something that they thought he might there was a possibility they'd have it finalized in time for him to be there for the game against Brighton. Isn't that tomorrow? That, that's a bit... 
can't can't have him managing tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm Eddie. Um, we're we're gonna go play now. Um, do this. Oh, why? Yeah, Canny. What lighting do we have here? Seems a bit on the bright side. Yeah, something, I don't know. Oh, don't miss the fairway, you clown. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. That's one of the reasons I don't get too hung up on lighting and shading and stuff, is that different consoles are going to render them differently. Now, what hole was Mackenzie part of designing that looked like this? Let me see if I can put my finger on it. Um... A downhill second shot on a par five with a with a river in front of it. Hmm. Hmm. What hole could that be? And weren't they saying the same thing about Emery though? Or are they saying like it's like as unless the man has actually signed his name on an official document? Oh, really? Cool. Ah, uh, ran through. Mm. So, reachable par 5 that actually the fairway was easier to hit than I thought. And then difficult par 4. Makes sense. Oh, and I, ju I just clued in too that your name is Firethorn15. <laughs> Guy names himself Firethorn15 and then creates... Basically that hole in the class. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Alright, what do we do here? We've got Raymond's Creek over there. Oh, we're gonna hammer it down here, see what happens. Oh, we got all 105 too. Just a massive smash down the fairway. Where are the chicks? They should be flooding here right about now. Yeah, now that I mention it. See, I mean, it's not, it's not at all a duplicate of 15 at Augusta because... 15 at Augusta has the big downslope. Like the green is more or less an island there, right? So you've got... So it, it's... There are similarities to it, but it's not the same thing. Definite similarities, though. Okay. And this last hole? Oh, no. I'm fine. I think every course I've played so far, I'm like, I'm disappointed. It's the last hole. Just a testament how good a job you guys are doing. Hmm. 
This has a bit of 9 at Augusta to it. Teeny tiny bit. Dog leg left, false front. Might be reaching a bit there. But again, McKenzie was your, um, the architect you were meant to be emulating, so it makes sense there would be some Augusta influence to it. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that was solid. Maybe a touch on the plain side, but I would way rather you go that route than be trying to put a whole bunch of objects that don't make any sense. The golf itself was really good, though. Oh, that's right. Flynn was. Oh, never mind then. The hell am I talking about? But I, I said Mackenzie too, Seb. So. <laughs> oh, hell. Devereaux. Who's Devereaux? Emmett? Who's that? Genuine question. Never heard of him. Helicopter pad. Like I, I know there was an Emmett was one of the uh, choices, but don't know who he is. Yep. Who is he? <laughs> I've never heard of him. <laughs> Least information. Okay, well that makes me feel a little better. Wow, virtual golfer. This is um this first hole is the best hole I've seen you make. So we'll just start there. Congressional? Okay, I've heard of that. One of my favorite US Opens was there. Okay, don't know those two. Congressional works though. I don't know about the right side of the green. I think this hole's great other than the right side of the green is just a little bit. I think first of all, if you're going to have this be a runoff, run the ball down into those bunkers. Don't have it be rough. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's a good reason for not doing it, Zach. Oh, Terps comes in from the top row. Top rope, I mean. All right, I gotta hang on. I gotta figure this out. Am I missing something? I don't think so. Hmm. 
I'm just not seeing why I ever go to the right of this. I bring the water into play, and I make it longer, and I bring water, in, and I, yeah, everything, bad. Those trees get in my way if I go right. So it's not really a centerline hazard, it's more of a... Um... More of a just narrow the fairway. Oh my god. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be tricky to, tricky to stay on. Where's my layup if I want one? Yeah, we're not laying up. I mean, we weren't anyways, but... This has no chance at all. Front bunker would be just fine. Oh, unless you landed in the hill, I guess. Oh. Yeah, almost. Almost. The first hole was really quite good, and now it seems to be just kind of losing its way a hair. Is, yeah. Oh, crap. This could have some foli foliage issues. Uh, let me see. Yeah, cause, oh shit. Cause you'd be able to snap hook a sandwich out of the rough, no problem. Huh. Break. Your phone died? I don't know. Uh, for your first hole is my favorite one you've ever made. So I'll give you that. To start. Okay. I don't mind the creek being here. I just don't know the 416 yard hole is the place for it. Because there's really not much reason to try to hit it over there. Now I've only hit driver because three wood was going to go about 150 yards in that wind. Oh, Maddie's going to love this. Some water, like raging waterfall action with the spray. That's his favorite, I think, isn't it? More of an angle. Yeah, that could work. Um, I just, it, 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 it's the length of the hole. It might not be the best place to have that, um, object. Oh. That's almost geometric virtual golfer. Yeah, that's good. That's a good idea, Seb. The way you've said that. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. That was the right club. Uh, 
uh, we we know my I mean, it it could be exactly perfectly what Emmett did. I'd still hate it. <laughs> it's it's just. But the people who actually appreciate that kind of stuff will love it. So that's good. Oh, that's the last. Oh man, again, he's a definite improvement, Virtual Golfer. Definite improvement. Probably that collection of six holes. That's probably the best six I've seen you make. The first hole for sure was by far your best. By far your best. And you're still you're still you're still coming along. I don't know if there are any Emmet experts, are there? I mean hell, even Charlie doesn't know who he is. Or was that somebody else? Petro? Okay. Okay, I'm not sure why that didn't come up before, but maybe I copied and pasted a space in there. All right, who's this guy? Mr. Wrestling 2. First post in the forum. Okay. And he went McKenzie. So we could get anything here. Oh, okay, cool. About the fried egg, not the about the articles, not that his designs are going away. It could be a burner. You know who really likes wrestling? Lucas. Does he hate designing? Yeah. I mean, there's there's some sculpting here that could be a little better. Hmm. I wonder if that might be too much. Oh, I didn't know that. I completely understand if that's the case that he, yeah, too too much time. Might might need a break, right? Who knows? Good luck with that, Trail Ducker.
This is all will be over here. That makes sense. Yeah. It, it. Jeez, that's terrible. Um, of course, is isn't bad. It's just it, it's missing the odd thing here and there. Um, okay. I don't really have a right to complain, given how bad my tee shot was. Hang on, girlfriend, is that the chick that you... No, hang, I, I forgot. There was... Who was it that was going to meet the ex? For some... Um, activity, let's say. Okay. Did you end up getting back with her? Something different. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this doesn't scream Mackenzie to me. Again, I'm not the person that should be... I'm certainly no authority on, you know, designers, but... Yeah, I'm not sure, Zach, if I will or not. Might be. Damn it. Now, that's a great question that Seb has made there. Well, you you said it on oh was it was it my I don't remember if it was my stream or not now to think of it if it was my stream there's no way you well I guess you could have been hammered but it wouldn't hell hell of a lot early <laughs> pretty pretty friggin early for you given you're in the west and I stream in the early afternoon it would like would have been morning hammered eh. um of course I mean yeah the course was okay. Nothing spectacular, nothing awful. Just, eh. Tough to, um, tough to stand out with all the great designers we have here. And then we're going to finish off with Terps, and it's an Emmet course. Which means I know nothing about it. Oh. Am I playing the right tees? Nope. Still friends. Not a thing. Huh. All right, Terps. Let's finish this off strong. Thank you. Took me 15 to forget. Oh, 
Oh, I thought it was going to break a little bit. No, I guess there's not Celtic. I've been there. Not a massive fan of this whole Terps, if I'm honest. Um, it's just... I wouldn't have the fairway quite as wide. I think I'd put more trouble in the fairway to make me think about the shot I need to hit. Um, probably would make everything smaller, honestly. Although that back left pin could be could be some fun. All right, well, hang on. Has antivirus? Okay. Yeah. The great thing about your country trail duck is you have freedom of speech. What a lot of people don't realize is freedom of speech does not mean freedom from um, consequences. But there's also freedom to be stupid. So. Yeah, and that's a lot of people don't understand that. People say, "What? Well, I thought I had freedom of speech." You absolutely have freedom of speech, but doesn't mean you don't have. It means you can say something, and not get sent to jail. Basically, what it means it doesn't mean that you don't have consequences for it, though. Well, we have to go for this. Yeah, this, this, I mean, we still have some work to do, ter herps, or terps, sorry. Um, good, I mean, the idea of that's pretty cool, but there's really not any reason not to try it. In real life, there would be, because I'd have to make sure I actually make contact, but in this, I'm going for that every day of the week. Why wouldn't I? Get a little draw around here. Hmm. All the greens have been basically circles too. Oh man. Slow killed me there. Okay. One more to go. Okay. Beth Page Green. Oh, that's one I don't know very well. It's just, yeah, it, it, there's still some, so like, all that dead space over there on the left, all over here, right? There's, for lack of a better term, everything feels a bit basic right now. 
Um, and that's just taking more time, right? And it's just more time in the designer. <laughs> okay yeah i mean it, there's there's a foundation there it just needs a bit of, a bit of um tlc and just a little bit more get a little bit more adventurous with shapes um you know fairway squiggling a bit maybe Bunkers not just being round. Um, stuff like that. But you're on your way. You're on your way. We're not a million miles off. Okay. There's the Design League stream, guys.